doing a Hunt Texas Hog side-by-side -side comparison video of the Sightmark Photon. I've got a 3.5 times version and a 5 times version. These are fixed magnification scopes. I'll also be demonstrating the use of some optional accessories. I've got a Pulsar 1.7 times fixed magnification doubler, a UNV adapter, and a UNV IR 20 illuminator. Alright, so here's the setup for tonight's uh, video demonstration. The pin is 100 yards from the blind. Slim Shady there is 150. And then I've got five decoys, about evenly spaced out, 12 yards each. And so the Senderas cut about 35 yards across. And I'm going to attempt to uh, demonstrate the field of view differences by spacing the decoys in this fashion. So, if you happen to uh, run off without your video cable and you get all the way out to the lease and you want to take some video, look for a Y adapter that goes to a 3.5 millimeter plug. And in this case, the white side is what carries the video signal for whatever reason. Barrel adapter there to connect the two RCA male to male connections. Here I can see some of the uh, horizontal runs of hog panel, so that's about as clear as I'm going to get it at 100 yards. Get you a measurement on that pin later, from gate to uh, end. Now this is during the daytime, so washout is an issue with digital night scopes. The uh, gentleman there on my silhouette is painted bright orange on a white background, so right now in the viewfinder I'm messing with the gain control on the video screen to get the best possible image, however I don't think that correlates to the video output. Right now I'm at the super bright, it's so washed out that uh, all you see is a white background, and now I'm coming down to the lowest brightness on the display without turning it off and I can make out the silhouette on the white background. Focus appears to be okay. On the left I can barely get the right, I mean I can barely get the middle decoy on the far right of the viewfinder. So I can see three decoys. Three decoys. Four decoys. Three decoys. Two decoys. Okay, at 100 yards, and not able to get the gate within the viewfinder. I can make out the silhouette on the lowest brightness setting. Moving up to the decoys, placing the reticle on the center decoy. three and a half decoys. I lose the furthest left. Uh, all I see is this rump. So going left to right. That's up there. Three decoys. Three decoys. Three and a half. Three 
decoys and two decoys. So continuing with the review, uh, it took about three minutes to put on the doubler. You simply screw the pulsar lens into the front end of the doubler adapter. Got a Torx T15 screw that will uh, set it in place and it goes slides over the front objective. So you've got the native lens of the photon behind the 1.7 times lens. We'll do the math later on what the magnification is for the 3.5 times when it's got the uh, 1.7 times pulsar lens on the front. With the 1.7 times pulsar lens in front of the 3.5 times Sightmark Photon scope see the left side of my pen here but only under directly under the feeder so your field of view is cut nearly in half at a hundred yards clarity however is nearly doubled I can make out the birds feeding underneath the feeder I can make out every horizontal strand of hog panel wire Moving up to the silhouette, you can now see details within the viewfinder such as the face, so the details and clarity that were not realized in the base configuration are now able to be seen. There's about the best focus I can get at 150. Going to the left, two decoys. Three decoys, three decoys. Um, I say half of the outer decoys on both sides. So on the right side, I can see the front legs and head, and on the left side, I can see the rear end. And just one decoy here on the right. far left of the pen and I can barely see the right or I can barely see the leg of the feeder to the right so I cannot see the feeder right here I've got the feeder in the far left and I cannot see the gate there's the gate First time I can kind of tell the difference between the 3.5 times and the 5 times. The uh, face was very clear on the 3.5 times with the doubler. I can barely make out the uh, face with the 5 times. So as the image translates through the scope, whether that be differences in sensors, differences in video uh, displays that the magnification scope body is looking through. Uh, couldn't, couldn't really tell you what's the most important factor here. All I can tell you is it's a little harder to make out the face on this guy. On the middle decoy I see the front half of the right side decoy and the uh, back end of the left side. So here I got two decoys in picture. Two and a half decoys in picture. ends of the right and left. Uh, one and a half and one.
silhouette. I guess that's tape. Clear packing tape and it's the illuminator reflecting back off of that. That's a completely clean target. So. And you can tell with the focus and the illuminator on the bloom of eye shine is what you should use to focus. So let me get that right there. Max uh, brightness in the viewfinder. Can't really make out the silhouette coming up. To so that's 220 yards to that back decoy, 198 yards to the front. Through the viewfinder, I can see behind the decoys. I would have a hard time telling you whether if that was a calf or a pig. So if you're not quite sure when you're in the field, you need to either get closer or use another form of night vision to identify your target. built-in illuminator. It's laser-based. Laser-based illuminator is a little grainy. Due in part to a diffuser that's built into it. Due to safety regulations. It's certainly bright enough at 100 yards. job of seeing beyond the decoys. Brighter behind the decoys. Another hundred yards. focus so right there I can see the horizontal lines of the hawk panel defocusing No comparison. The UNV is superior. You can see well beyond 200 yards. And with this IR illuminator, I'd be able to identify between a calf and a pig. So you really realize the full potential of the base, uh, base photon with the UNV 20 IR alone. Go ahead and put the doubler on it. Right there. Too much, you just back it down. 
thing. And you can see the black spot of the mouth and the eyes. Can't really make out the separation of them, but you can see there's a black spot on the the 1.7 times lens on significantly darker image on the 5 time model going to the silhouette based on the eye shine I can see that decoys are there but I wouldn't feel comfortable taking a shot. I can't see the fence in the back. UMV 20 IR. Three point five times doubled photon. Clarity is uh, outstanding. Can make out individual lines of the hog panel. Can make out the concentric greens on the feeder. Going to 150. If I defocus the IR, I can make out the mouth and eyes. beyond the targets just as important to make out those trees behind the fence well beyond 250 yards to make out the outline of a pig as opposed to a calf I really like the combination of the optical doubler and the brighter 